Rob here from the Master Switch. Uh, we're going to talk about this today. It's the Mayflower Electronics Arc ARC. It is primarily designed as an app for your PS4 or your Xbox uh, when you're gaming, which is why it comes with a, a microphone input and a microphone output. Uh, but it also functions as a very capable uh, general use headphone app as well. Now, when Mayflower Electronics got hold of us uh, and showed us this, my first question was, wait a second, that's an O2 amp. Guys, it looks exactly the same. Their response was, yes, it does look exactly the same, but the insides have been completely reworked and they're completely new. And I do have to say that the amount of features uh, you get and the number of inputs and outputs you get really supports that. Uh, you get a huge range of stuff here. You get a microphone in and a microphone out. You get an optical in. You get a USB in. Uh, you get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, you get high and low gain. You get a DSP switch, which is digital signal processing. It's a fancy name for a bass boost in this case, which actually takes about a second to kick on whenever you press it and cuts the music. That is kind of annoying. But nonetheless, you get a DSP decent amount of stuff here and having tested it both as a headphone amp and uh, with my PS4 over a few gaming sessions, I can confirm it works really, really well. It's definitely a big upgrade to just using your headphones standard. I don't think the circuitry is going to blow your mind. This is not a world beating headphone amp, but it really does make things a little bit meatier, gives it a, bit more, a little bit more weight, a little bit more power and makes things overall a little bit clearer. Overall, its performance was super solid and I think this is a perfectly respectable headphone amplifier. I do have a couple of points which annoyed me. The first is the headphone jack is only 3.5 millimeters, not 6.3. Uh, you know, I think if you're at the stage of buying a $250 headphone amp, you're kind of at the stage where the headphones you own will probably be 6.3 millimeter, you know, the bigger quarter inch jacks, uh, not 3.5, which means you just have to add another adapter in and it's just annoying. I don't quite understand why you couldn't have a 6.3 millimeter uh, headphone out on this. The other issue I had was the price. $250. On the one hand, yeah, you do get a huge range of features here, and it's a very versatile little amp DAC. But on the other hand, it's not a very exciting one. It doesn't kind of light up the pleasure centers of your brain. It just makes things a little bit better. Are people going to be willing to pay $250 bucks for that? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I think if 50 or 75 bucks was lopped off the price, then possibly we're talking. At the moment, I think it's a touch expensive for what you get. All the same, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's a very solid little amp DAC. Uh, I can't wait to see what Mayflower Electronics do next. I would love to see them do something that doesn't use the standard O2 amp case. I'd love to see them really push themselves. But yeah, overall, this is a solid amp. Takes nothing off the table, does absolutely everything it's supposed to, just has a couple of points where it could improve. The Mayflower Electronics Arc, as always, full review is in the description linked right there, and do not forget to subscribe. Uh, we've been a little light on reviews lately. They're kind of backed up at the moment because we've been updating the site uh, quite heavily, but we are gonna be splurging reviews into your face from sort of the middle of November onwards. That didn't sound so good. Sorry about that.